Welcome to this video. This video explains how we can model laminated composite materials in Habakkuk software. For an example in this video, we have a laminated fiber reinforced composite plate with three regions. In two regions, there are five layers and in the middle region, there are ten layers of unidirectional composite. As the thickness is small relative to other dimensions, we model this problem as a shell. We start by creating a part. As the part is shell, we use three-dimensional and deformable and shell planar to create the part. In a sketcher environment, we create a square with side lens of 140. We should divide the face of the part to three regions. We use tools and partition and partition the face by a sketch. We should pick an edge and now by creating a rectangle we can divide this face to three regions. In property module, we should create two materials since we have two materials in layers. One material is glass epoxy and the second is aluminum. We enter the mechanical property of glass epoxy as a lamina which relates to unidirectional reinforced composite. As you can see in this table, we have Young modulus in two directions and then shear modulus and Poisson ratio in the plane of the material. The lamina also needs two transfer shear modulus and in cases that transfer shear is important, these values should be entered exactly. In our next video, we will explain about adding hashing damage to this material behavior. After that, we create the material for aluminum. The material is isotropic linear elastic and we just enter Young modulus and Poisson ratio. After that we should create composite layout and define a stacking sequence of the composites. There are five layers in the base plate and five layers in the stiffener. And here we should define region, material and thickness and direction of each layer. Also we can define integration points in each layer. There are these five layers in all the plate. So for the region we should pick all the plates. We also pick all the plate for other layers. Then we should define material for these five layers. The material is glass epoxy. We also enter thickness of each layer here. The thickness is 0.2 for all the five layers. We also can choose a coordinate system for each layer and finally we should enter rotation angle with regards to coordinate system for each layer. We can see a stacking sequence of layers in this picture. Please notice that usually the stacking sequence is from up to down but in the Abacus software we enter the sequence from down to up. For integration in each layer we can use integration during analysis or before analysis and in linear elastic problem it's better to use before analysis we also can change the number of integration point in each 
play but the number should be odd. For the steel pen origin, which is in the middle of the plate, we should add 5 more layers to the stacking sequence of the composite. We add 5 layers here. And then change the region related to 5 layers only to the middle of the plate. Then we should change the material. Four layers of this stiffener are glass epoxy and only one layer is aluminum. We change this layer material to aluminum. And about the thicknesses are the same and also we don't use coordinate system. And then we should change direction of each layer based on this sequence. Directions of four glass epoxy layers are the same and for the aluminum layer the direction is not important as this layer is isotropic. We can check correctness of the stacking sequence by the tools query and then play stack plot. We can choose a region and check its stacking sequence. Comparing this stacking sequence by our desired sequence we can see that all the directions are correct and also we can see that all the thicknesses are 0.2. We also could check a stacking sequence of the stiffener part and compare it with our desired sequence. Now we could go to the assembly module and import the part as an instance. And also in a step module, we can create a static general step. We choose linear perturbation step because all the thing is linear and there is no nonlinear geometry in this problem. Then in load module, we fix two ends of the plate. One side is totally fixed. As we are using shell, the rotation also is important and we fix all 6 degrees of freedom of each node. For the other side, we use simply support, which means that the rotation is free. So we fix translation or degrees of freedom in second and third direction and rotational degrees of freedom is free. Then we apply pressure to the upper face of the shell. We choose brown side and enter the value of the pressure here. In the mesh module at first we use a structured and quadrilateral mesh for the part and then sit the part globally and in assign element type we choose a standard and show and linear elements for this problem and then we can mesh the part and create a job and submit the job Now we can go to the visualization module and see the results. As you can see here, the stiffener part is much stiffer than two side region of the plate. For composite materials, it's better to plot stress in longitudinal or transverse direction. That makes more sense. And also these values are related to layer one of the composite. We can pull out values for various layers. We go to the results, field outputs and 
From section points we can pick place and here are all plays and we can choose a play for example play 5 copy exists only in the stiffener part and this is the stress distribution in this play thank you guys for watching this video if you are interested in modeling of damage in laminated composite please watch our next video if this video has helped you out please let us know by a like a comment or a subscribe See you in next videos.